Sarah, you want to pour some of this blue liquid into the glass, about uh, two or three centimeters. Sure. Okay, that's enough. Now, here are some pieces of dry ice. You know what it is, solid yeah. carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Put a chunk, go about like that, in the glass. Sure. Have you worked with uh, litmus in class? Yeah. Well, how does it work? Well, when we put the blue litmus to an acid, it turns pink. Mm -hmm. But when we put pink litmus to a base, it turns blue. Okay, so that you can find out whether how acid or base something is by whether it turns one way or the other. But what we are using in this glass, in this picture, is called a universal indicator. One liquid will t go on the blue side if it's a base, all the way to yellow if it's an acid. In fact, what is, was it when blue when we started? Look what color it is now. It's green. Yes, it's green. That's about neutral, yeah. halfway between. And when it, now watch. I can guess this. It's an acid. Right, an acid. So pour in some more. Pour okay. in some more base. You're going to change it back to, that's enough. I'll put in some more dry ice in order to get, the reason it's changing color is because as the dry ice changes to a gas, some of the gas dissolves in the liquid and makes it an acid. There, it's an acid already. Here, oh, put in some more base. Doesn't take very long. Well, it depends on how much acid, or how much base you put in, and how much uh, acid we create by uh, the amount CO2? of carbon dioxide. There it is again. Okay, pour some more in. <laughs> a little more this time. You can see why it's called a universal indicator, because it, mm. it indicates both acid and base. See how it's green now? Yeah. Okay, now go <laughs> ahead, fill the glass more. practically up. Okay, that means a lot more s yeah. vapor coming now, out. Now a lot more base. Okay, that's enough. Now I'll add a little more uh, solid carbon dioxide to make it go a little faster. And we will now have foaming, you know, this is what they use for, yeah. for mad scientists and stuff yeah, in the movies. Yeah, mad scientists you know? movies. But this time we're using it for a very practical purpose to indicate whether something is a base or an acid by the universal indicators. Now green and now yellow.